Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody is having a great day. Well, today we have another unbagging. So, let's see who it's from. It means we have another review. This is kind of a stuffed bag here for tricks. Got all kinds of little stuff. I'll be right back and I'll let you know who this is from. All right, this bag is from VIP Cross Stitch. This will be in two parts. We'll have one today, which is Monday, and we'll have part two next Monday. So let's see what we have here. Since the scissors are trying to escape, we'll just get them out of there first. Europeans, is, man, these are freaking huge. I had no idea these were going to be this big. And they are pretty sharp. Don't know what I'll use them for. They are gorgeous. They're heavy. They kind of have like an antique gold look to them. They were $9.55. So they're even bigger than the ones I used to open up boxes with. But I won't be using this to open up bags or anything weird. But yeah, I just thought they were beautiful, but I did think that they would be about this size. Not happening. These are huge. Ginormous. Yeah. But I don't want to cut paper with it, and I don't have any material to cut or thread. We'll just take a, a bit of our thread here. Oh yeah, they cut very nice. Might as well use our, our Oort basket here. Yeah, they cut really nice. But they are heavy. Heavy, heavy, heavy. Well, I'll put them up there till I can find one of those glass frogs. My mother... No, I don't know if you know what a frog is. That's what they call them. I don't know why, but yeah. The things that hold flowers, you know, to when you're... Uh, what do you call it? Arranging flowers and stuff. That's what a, a frog is. I looked on Amazon, and yeah, they had all different kinds of things that didn't appeal to me. So, I'm still looking for one of the antique ones. I look every time I go, you know, to an antique store, so I'm still on the hunt. All right. So, next, we have... I'm going to have to get another one of these. I can see this now. A set of colored... Let me get the plastic off. And get rid of the paper, because it's crinkly. Of washi tapes. So you can put them around your diamond painting, you know, when you're framing, or however you want to do it. But, let's see. Well, are they... Yeah, they're lightly sticky. I wouldn't say that they were terribly sticky. And this comes in two different kinds. They have plain or printed. And I got the printed ones for some diamond paintings or just whatever I wanted to use them for. But yeah, I just thought they were beautiful. And they come in set of ten. And they were... Three forty nine, so they weren't too terribly expensive, and there's not a whole lot on there. Probably enough to do a diamond painting, or if you want to uh, break it down into sections on a diamond painting, you can do that too. So, yeah, I just thought it'd be different because, like I said, about two years ago or more, I was at Walmart and they had washi tape. Now, unless they moved them, I don't know. Couldn't find any. And, of course, they sell them one or two at a time. You know, so, I mean, it's not a great deal, you know. But I just thought, what the hell? Well, okay, finish that story, Laura. Oh, my goodness, we're having that kind of day. So, anyway, in the past few times that I've gone to Walmart, I have not seen any washi tape at all. So, unless they're just hanging someplace else, and I'm not seeing them. And, of course, I didn't look it up online, so... Yeah, but I thought this would help, like on those diamond paintings, that they're just not big enough, they're 
they just don't fit in the frame right so you kind of need some kind of edging to kind of even it off and make it look good so that's basically what I use washi tape for I usually use uh, regular tape to put like you know how the diamond painting comes like a quarter inch sometimes sometimes more um, I put regular tape along there so my hands not sticking when I'm diamond painting but and I've never uh, like sectioned off my diamond painting I just didn't feel the need to do that so some people like to do that uh, that's their prerogative I uh, just not one of those people so I don't know maybe it helps them focus it doesn't make any difference to me I just you know cut a section and lift it up and use my magnet things to hold them back and then I just do the a section at a time you know it's not like I take up the whole sheet you know but I just do a section at a time and it doesn't bother me I just go all the way across and then I come up and I go all the way back across and that way I don't have so much exposed but when I'm not working on it I do cover them with the plastic sheet again so it is what it is that's what I do with it but you could also use this on packaging or just anything that you wanted to I mean there looks like there's a fair amount you know but I thought I'd see what they look like and how good they were and now we have washi tape so maybe I'll use it more I have no idea so let's get on to the cross stitch this cross stitch is a 46 by 36 and it was 745 it is a DIY cross stitch and here is the product number the 16-2 some of them have that some don't Let's see where I need to open this from. One way or another here. Get it out of there and you can look at it really good. Well, isn't that just absolutely stunning? Look at all those beautiful flowers. Beautiful, beautiful flowers. Mm. Yeah, the colors get me every time, but you know this looking for the pattern there is a pattern here hang on and it's fairly big so does have the product number here there's no dash two but it does say 16 so who knows 36 by 46 does have a nice big pattern very easy to read nice big key it does show the colors of the threads over here on this side this whole page matches your canvas I love it just absolutely love it I've fallen in love with DIY cross stitch kits because of this you don't there's no looking between paper pattern and looking here and okay well that's number eight now I got to go over here and look and see what that symbol looks like no everything matches I love it I wish Joy Sunday did it and then they would be a primo store but that's just my opinion but it is it's gonna be a thing we'll see doesn't have all the little curly cues in the the background it's like one a uh, little bit of a mixture of color but not too much it's pretty much a solid color this has no 823 no 310 no 939 it does have 3371 which is a brown and 3865 so yeah just beautiful not a lot of white in it but I love these bouquets there's several to pick from you know throughout the the site that are bouquets of flowers and they're fairly up close so that's very nice and you know that there's going to be some kind of uh, definition in the the picture Needed a drink of coffee as usual right all right let's see what the colors look like if I can get them all out of here this isn't too big of a pattern but let me undo it I was making sure there was no extra pieces 
There is a lot of that 939, so I'm assuming that's part of the background. But look at those yellows and pinks, and we have like a bittersweet orange. Just beautiful, like a rust, rusty orange, if you will, and a bright red. Some purples in here. Just beautiful. Beautiful, be beautiful colors. There's 22 colors. So, lots to choose from. I like it when it changes colors. I'm wrapping this up here. Let's see here. Let's see what this canvas looks like. Well, there's two needles right there. It does have the product number and how big it is. Yeah, that 16 is that 939. It's going to be beautiful. Like I said, key and everything matches. They even have the color of the thread running down it. Very nice. It is not uh, surged all the way around. So, yeah. Let's see here. It is um, pretty close to 41. Oh, the whole thing. I'm sorry. It's 46 by 36. That's what it said it was. The actual picture, though, let's try that again, is 35 and a half, which is 14 by 10, 10 and a, yeah, well, which is 25 and a half. <coughs> so this will fit an 11 by 14 frame. You'll just have to have a little bit on the side. Got a kink in my arm. I can't hardly move it. I don't know what I've been carting around. Probably the laundry. That, that's how that goes. Let's take a look at the canvas. It looks a little confettied. It's very darkly printed, which is nice. And very... Eh, there's some iffy parts. Because they get the same... Uh, color together and then they have a different symbol but like I said everything on your paper matches so if you have to go and look it's sometimes easier this this looks like it might be a little bit of a challenge but it doesn't seem like you know there's kind of confetti parts just here and there so not too bad and like I said this one was where is it 745 so that's not too bad nice heavy duty canvas but it is a little challenging to read but I think if you just go slow I know you can't go fast and cross stitch please you know you're gonna see what you need to see and like I said, everything matches on this, on your paper, so it's pretty easy to read. But if you would want to, you know, I would take this part right here and I would blow it up. Because here's where the problem comes in. I don't know if you can see those, but there's X's and half X's and O's. And half triangles that are all in black surrounding you know everything else yeah I would blow up that part and maybe this part because you got the same thing going on over here but the rest of it it's fairly easy to read but yeah I'll be right back and we're gonna start this all right I am back and we're gonna start up here on this white leaf affair that is sticking out or it might be another blossom since they're lilies you know they'd be long and tapered yeah and we're using 3865 I know I never use 3865 to begin with but it's kind of light and we're gonna go with it I did crinkle this a bit so hang on let me pull it get this way Good. whoops Everybody's sticking together today. Get my one of my little things from Olivia. Yeah. I just think it's so precious. 
But yeah, I thought this would be beautiful with all these colors mixed together. I'm not real crazy about stitching everything in dark brown, but we'll be fine. We'll be fine. And you really wouldn't have to do the background if you didn't want to. You can just do all the flowers and all the leaves and stuff. Now, VIP Cross Stitch does have um, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm reading through my notes. Okay. They have cross stitch and embroidery and beaded cross stitch. They do not have diamond paintings. They have counted and, and pre-stamped cross stitch. They have a big, big selection of cross stitches. I have ordered from them personally. I love what they have. The shipping is always great. Yeah, unless, you know, something's going on in the world or, you know, some other thing that would foul up the post office. But, yeah. Other than that, I've always had good luck with them shipping things right away. So, it's awesome. And I've gotten uh, pre-stamped cross-stitch and beaded cross-stitch. And I believe I've gotten um, some embroidery from them. I'm not real sure. They have crafts for embroidery and cross-stitch as well. And they do have a separate uh, Joy Sunday section. And they have lots of tools for you to choose from. So if you're into those kind of things. I like mainly collecting the, the magnets and... Oh, I could get clips and everything else from them, but... Just, I don't know, what you call them, knickknacks? Or, you know, little things that aren't needles and aren't thread and all that because heaven knows we have a, a thread a, th a thread collection to rival any DMC store so yeah we don't need it I usually don't buy thread from them like that but but I like the knickknacks and they always have a lot to choose from well, this white's laying down, and it doesn't seem thin. Like I said before, sometimes it's the lighter colors that are thinner than most. Molly's out there on her porch. I got the door wide open. The sun's a shining. It's been kind of rainy. So. She's out there enjoying her summer weather. Oh, go away, fly. Now we let the flies in, right? I'm telling you. But I like that they have a nice wide selection. And if they have any um, specials going on, uh, you know, like buy four, get one free, or, or that kind of thing, then I will put that in the description box below, of course. And they do have free shipping, I believe, over $69. They have free shipping. The 
which is always nice. And sometimes they have a percentage off. But I will put all that information below along with links to each of these products. Yeah, I could have swore those scissors were going to be the same size as those other ones that I've been getting, but dang, them things are like, I should have looked. I didn't look, even look, I didn't even question it. These are like five and, almost five and three quarter inches long. Heavy duty. Don't know what I'm going to do with them. Just collecting them, I guess. They are beautiful. Very well embossed. Very nice. And sharp. They're sharp, sharp. Don't drop them on your toe. That'd go right through your foot. I put them over here in my little... I have one of those little caddies, you know, where you stick pencils and stuff in. So that's where I'm keeping them until I have something to actually put them in. I haven't been looking too much. Just kind of stuck on the frog idea. Because I saw that was somebody else. So I don't know what I'd even put that frog in. Do you know what I mean? I do. And those are heavy, so I don't know if they'd even stand up. Oh, and I put them away, didn't I? I needed them. So, yeah. So go check out VIP Cross Stitch. See that? Laid down very nicely. Very nice. Thank you, VIP Cross Stitch, for sending me these beautiful, beautiful products. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And please hit the bell. That way you'll know when my next video comes out. Stay safe. Stay healthy. We'll see you next time. God bless. Bye-bye.